All right, next game up here is the Jags at the Rams, and the Rams get the win 37-7. to uh, We had a bar for this Rams team. We called the Rams frauds last week. We gave them a redemption goal to hit, and this was the goal. Let's see if this Rams team is back in our good graces or if they are still considered frauds. So we needed to see 35-plus points. They hit 37. Bango, bango. We needed to see three touchdowns, no interceptions. Ma uh, Matthew Stafford had three touchdowns, no interceptions. Bango. Bango, bango. We needed to see 250 plus passing yards. We got 295. And the last stipulation we needed to see was 100 plus rushing yards. And Sony Michelle had 121 rushing yards. So ding, ding, ding. That's the bingo, folks. The Rams are officially back. A dominant win against a poor team in the Jags. And they did exactly everything we needed to see and more. So bingo, bango. The the Rams are back in our good graces. They are no longer considered frauds. And uh, this Rams team back on track to get to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Very well done by them. So by this Rams team, they really didn't get out to a bad start. First drive, uh, field goal. Second drive, touchdown. Third drive, they had to punt. Fourth drive, they're back scoring points, a field goal. Uh, and then a couple of, well, one more punt by them. And then they're back to scoring a field goal, 16-7 to seven at halftime. After halftime, first drive, touchdown. Second drive, touchdown. Third drive, touchdown. That was the game right there. So, thank goodness they got it back on track. A little competitive in the first half. And we're not going to knock the Rams too much for that because we've seen glimpses of this Jaguars defense be really good. Uh, you know, beating the Bills. And then, you know, the, Col the defense against the Colts on the road, really solid. Uh, so, you know, the first half defense here by the Jaguars, real solid, kept the game. Kept the minute but at some point the firepower of the Rams takes over and that's exactly what happened uh, yesterday Rams winning 37 to 7 we will have a little bit. We still have this sliver of doubt in the Rams for struggling in the first half because we've seen them struggle in the first half against the good teams. And that's kind of why they lose because they get kind of, you know, down big, down bad, and it's hard to overcome those that deficit, especially against great teams. So, yes, this Rams team is back, and they're not frauds, but we do still have this sliver of doubt of how we're seeing them win and play these games. So, but we're still considering them very very well and very very good and ab absolutely Super Bowl contenders back again all right, so Matthew Stafford had a great night, 36 of tw uh, 26 of tw uh, 26 of 38. Let's get the completion percentage up here. 26 of 38. We got officially 68%. We'll love that. 295 yards, not dinking and dunking, three touchdowns, no picks. Fantastic turnover free game. Nobody even fumbled. That's what we love to see. Rushing attack. We wanted to see the rushing game get established because we don't want to see Matthew Stafford drop back and throw the ball 45 plus times. This needs to be an equal run and pass game, um, especially because everybody's been shutting down Matthew Stafford in the passing attack the last couple of games when they were on that three-game losing streak. So that's why we wanted to see 100-plus rushing yards, and Sony Michelle did exactly just that. 24 rushes, solid rushing attack. Give credit to um, Sean McVay for getting the running game established. This is exactly what we wanted to see. 24 rushes, 121 yards, one touchdown by Sony Michelle. Thank you, thank you, love it. And then who was Matthew Stafford throwing to? Well, obviously, Cooper Cup, leading receiver. No surprise there. Eight catches, 129 yards, a touchdown. Tyler Higby, five catches, 48 yards. Von Jefferson, six catches, 41 yards, a touchdown. Ben Scores. Skoronk, Skoronik, uh, one catch, 35 yards, and then OBJ, two catches, 28 yards, and he had the tug, baby, uh, which definitely should, you know, put OBJ at ease for at least another week before we awaken the monster that is OBJ, not getting the credit or any of the passes he thinks he deserves. So well done there, OBJ, taming the beast a little bit. All right, and then the Jaguars, well, classic Jaguars performance offensively at least. I'll give them credit for a good defensive performance in the first half, but overall the offense, seven points for the entire game, can't do anything. Trevor Lawrence is not good, all of that, all of that. So Trevor Lawrence goes 16 of 28. Anything good there? Anything good there? 16 of 28, we get 57%. Womp, womp. 145 yards on 16 completions, dink and dunk. No touchdown, no interceptions. He 
did not, well, he fumbled, didn't lose it, so we'll give credit for Trevor Lawrence of not turning over the ball. They still had two other fumbles. Carlos Hyde fumbled and lost it. James Robinson fumbled and lost it, and that's never great when your running backs are actively fumbling and losing it in multiple players, so it's not like you can just take one running back out of the game. You have to stop rushing the ball kind of entirely, Um, and that's kind of what the Jaguars did. Even though the rushing game wasn't working, they still had to shut it down. So first fumble is by uh, James Robinson, and it results into seven points for the Rams. Second fumble here by, uh, we got Carlos Hyde, results in a touchdown. So two turnovers by the Jags results into 14 points for the Rams. Well done for the Rams of taking advantage of all the turnovers. We absolutely love it. Now for the rushing attack, Carlos Hyde, nine rushes, 24 yards, a touchdown. Well, nothing great. James Robinson, eight rushes for 24 yards. Both had a fumble. We had Trevor Lawrence taking off four times for 10 yards. Who was Trevor Lawrence throwing to? Well, Laquan Treadwell, leading receiver, four catches, 62 yards. LaVisca Chenault Jr., three catches, 30 yards. James O'Shaughnessy, two catches, 13 yards. Marvin Jones, two catches, 11 yards. James Robinson, one catch, 11 yards. And Jaden Mickens, two catches for 10 yards. So Rams back on track. Rams officially no longer frauds. You love to see it. But the Jaguars, obviously, they're frauds. They weren't even established to be even called the frauds. They're just a bad team overall. Rams get the win 37-7. 